Hey friends, welcome back to Living It Country. Today we have another gorgeous home for the Christmas season to tour today. And I am so excited to have Connie back from Life on Mercedes Drive here today, sharing her beautiful home for Christmas. You guys are gonna get so much inspiration and new ideas from her. I'm going to link her Instagram account as well as her fall and spring tour down below. So make sure to check that out and let's get started. Hello, I am Connie from Life on Mercedes Drive on Instagram. I have been invited by Holly again to do a Christmas home tour on her Live in the Country YouTube channel. I'm really excited that she chose to do this, uh, ask me again, because I really, and this is my favorite time of the year. I'm not sure if all of you love Christmas as much as I do, but I really like it. So on with the tour. Uh, when you walk into my home, you either go up the steps or you walk into the foyer. And if you go up the steps, you'll see that there's a group of nutcrackers up there that I collect. And those of you that know me already know that I collect things. I have small collections of different things that I just do vignettes and everything. My Willow Tree Nativity scene, I enjoy. I probably need to get the Three Wise Men and a few other pieces to it. Above the Willow Tree Nativity scene, I've got this vignette. And right there is um, some antlers that I actually just kind of tied on this board that I got from TJ Maxx. Those trees, I got it at an antique store one time when I was traveling out of state and I'm not really sure where state I was in at the time. This is my dining room, my old farmhouse table that's been around and it seats a lot of people and we enjoy it during the holidays. This room is quite primitive. I don't even have lights on my tree. I just strung some ribbon and this year I put some ornaments. Last year I didn't even have ornaments on it. I have some stoneware pieces that I just put on my table. This piece over here came from France. I traveled to France about 20 years ago and um, I literally carried it in my lap through the flights <laughs> coming back to the States because I didn't want anything to happen to it. I didn't want it to break and I've had it for a long time. I enjoy bottle brush trees. I think they're so simple and pretty. Some more of my crock pots up there with another tree without any kind of ornaments or lights. My jelly covered cabinet that I Painted. It was that cabinet was gifted to me by a patient. He was very grateful that I had taken care of him, but that was my job. I tried to tell him. Some dough bowls in a very large crock pot that I got from a friend. So we'll go into the living room. This is my favorite room in the house. I've always enjoyed this room. I like red. I did my um, Christmas with pops of red this year. I'll start over here on this side. Some of these pieces that I've had, I've had for a very, very long time. Here's my flock trees from um, King of Christmas and this year I was kind of creative and I made some pillows I made these DIY pillows with these little pom-pom fringe all around them they're pillow slips and I just took some old pillows and uh, stuffed them in there it didn't take me an hour to make both of them it was super simple 
I also made some bows. I went a little crazy making bows and I put bows everywhere. So my husband asked if I was gonna put a bow on his head. I said, if you hold still long enough, I might. So I like plaid and I just, those of you that know me know that I just put it all together and if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't, but as long as I'm happy with it. So I, I love the buffalo check and the plaid with it. I like layering things. So I layered this rug on the top of another rug. And I've always talked about my, cause I actually, I'm really proud of them. My two wing back chairs that I got from Facebook market for $25. I ripped them apart, deconstructed them, took everything out, reupholstered them, bought the foam, made new cushions, re and made the slip covers. And they're really comfy and I really, really enjoy them. Here's some fresh poinsettias and my mantle. See that there's another bow there. Now, if you look carefully, this is a palette board. I wanted something rustic in here because I didn't want it to appear very contemporary. So uh, my son had some palettes and he gave me one. It was six foot long but it was the right width, so I really liked it. Um, so we cut it in half, put some hanging wire in the back, and then I decided just to put a picture on the palette itself uh, to just kind of, I'll do a close-up of it so you can see. So it's, you know, the palette, the, the wood is kind of broken in some places, but I, I like that rustic look. And it really didn't cost anything but for the, uh, price of the uh, picture. There's another bow that I made. Now a Christmas tree. Like I said, I want it pops of red and uh, you can't hardly tell it's a flock tree. It's got so many ornaments. But um, really like it. You can see a little close up of it. I do have some of the plaid ribbon going through it. That ribbon is the ribbon I use to make bows. sure if you can hear my dog scratching on the door. This is bench right here. Um, I, get, I think I, those that have seen my home tours before, I said it was given to me by a friend. And here's some more plaids on there. This is an old piece. Probably went to a dresser or something. I don't know. It was in our family and it was painted black and had like 30 layers of paint on it. it took forever to uh, get the paint off of it and I just put some tongue oil on it and left it natural. This piece, and I've talked about this piece before, it's probably in the Art Deco in the 30s. It's nothing farmhouse style about it, but I just can't seem to get rid of it and I try to make it work into my uh, decor. My printer's tray, those of you have, that have followed me before have seen it. Okay, I will go in the master bedroom. The master bedroom, my bed is a queen size bed, but when I buy bedding for it, I buy king size bedding for it. 
That way it just hangs over and it's oversized and I really like the way it looks. <clears throat> this is um, bedding that I got from overstock.com and it's, like I said, it's king size bedspread. And so that means that your pillow shams are a little bit big, but I just put queen size pillows in them and then just tuck them in and put a pillow, a decorative pillow in front. I love my bed, it's a solid iron bed. There's some more um, poinsettias. My dresser, I just dressed it up. I had a dough bowl, bowl and I just put ornaments in it and the cloche and some a tree. Now I will give you a close-up on what I did here. I just got, I had these wreaths around the house and I just kind of stole from another room to put it in one room and made some bows and then just fastened the wreaths on these shutters and I fastened them actually with painter's tape. Um, I'm kind of a simple person, I don't do things like my husband would have done that, he'd have had the level out and everything, not me, I just kind of throw it up there. And on this wreath, I had a set of antlers that I actually stuck in there, tied it up with some florist wire and made a bow for it. Those antlers were given to me by my nephew from Texas and he thought I was silly because I got so excited over them. He didn't quite understand. Here's a close up of the antlers and that wreath. And I always diffuse something in my house. I love, right now, I love diffusing. Right now I'm diffusing lavender and purification in here. And it just smells really, really good. And my rug just goes about halfway up the bed. And I really like it because I like my wood floors to show. So we'll go on into the kitchen. This is a new kitchen. I think that I did not do this one. Well, yes, I did in the fall. Never mind. <laughs> um, I love my kitchen. I love the farmhouse sink. I love the quartz. Uh, I like everything about it. This is our coffee station, and you notice I'm diffusing some more essential oils there, and um, trying to keep up with the plaid theme. Some bottle brushes up on top. poinsettias, fresh poinsettias, and we've got milk and cookies ready for Santa to come. This table has been with me forever. It's been oak, it's been stained natural, uh, it had a, a stain on it at one time, now it's painted. 
My joke is that in my house, everything gets painted that doesn't move. Now this is my husband's favorite. It's the Christmas Village. He would always set it up somewhere and we'd had all this little houses and everything. But we found that more and more we didn't have a place for it. So I decided to take everything out of my hutch and put the village in these little nooks. And, and I think it works. It's cute. Not many people do Christmas villages. Got some yummy treats here ready. So into my kitchen. It's a dog's bowl. They got their Santa bowl ready for the water. So I decided that I did not want uh, doors underneath my sink because I wanted to do this. I wanted to put curtains, cafe curtains, for the seasons. So if you notice, this is the same material that I made the plaid pom-pom fringe pillows that are on my couch. And then of course I had to throw in some um, buffalo sh uh, check uh, towel there. And if we also put a shiplap instead of any kind of tile. A lot of people are putting up subway tile. And I think it's very pretty, uh, but it wasn't the look that I was going for. And this sink is to die for. If you ever get a chance to get a farmhouse sink, do it. And the reason we remodeled our kitchen, which I said in the last time, was because our granite cracked. And it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And there was um, nothing we could do about it. Nobody could fix it. They just don't fix things like that. Granite cannot be fixed. Once it cracks, they say that it goes all the way through. So I decided to go with quartz. So I decided to go. I was very tired of the busy pattern of the granite. So I kind of really flipped all the way to the other side. And this has very minimal veining in it. I didn't even want the one that had all this big, huge veining in it. I wanted something that was just really simple. Here's another wreath that I made a bow. Put the bow up there. So this is my home tour and I hope you have enjoyed it. I have certainly enjoyed doing it and I enjoy sharing and if you have any questions about where I sourced anything, just ask. Uh, I am on Instagram on Life on Mercedes Drive or you can ask here in the comments and I want again uh, once again, I want to thank Holly from Living at Country YouTube channel for having me as a host. Thank you so much and have a great holiday.